Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily. It's Wednesday, June 22nd, here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw. Greg, let's start with the biggest headline of the night, the U.S. national team in the Gold Cup semifinals against Panama, 7 p.m. Eastern, down at Reliance Stadium in Houston. They're going to get their chance for that rematch against Panama, and you like their chances. Yeah, definitely. The way they played against Jamaica, I think that the U.S. is feeling very confident. Their captain, Carlos Bocanegra, came out yesterday and basically said that. He said, we are peaking. You haven't seen anything based even on Jamaica. They still think they're going to be rolling when they go up against Panama this time. It's all about what formation they play. Odds are they're going to play that sort of 4-2-3-1. Will Landon Donovan mm -hmm. be back in the starting lineup? I have to think that Bob Bradley will definitely do that. And then it just comes down to what will Bob Bradley do in that other position. Will it be Kleshin or Bedoya? I think that's the real uh, question for him. On the other side, Panama, look, they beat the U.S. once. They feel like they can do it again. Coach Julio Deli Valdez coming out and saying, we think we can do it. We have the players. We did it before. We think that we're in their heads right now. But this game, really, it's the U.S.'s game to win or lose. Again, that game, 7 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer mm -hmm. and Univision. You can also follow along on a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. There's a nightcap to think about as well, 10 p.m. Eastern, Mexico and Honduras down at Reliant. Greg, you think this one's a walk for Mexico? It has to be. The way Mexico are playing in this Gold Cup, all the goals that they're putting up, Chicharito, um, Giovanni Dos Santos, both of them playing very well. Uh, Denigres also, don't forget about Denigres, he's been playing very well. And of course, Rafa Marquez back in the starting lineup at center back after overcoming a little bit of an injury. They've been, they've been a total perfect team so far in this one. Just like for the U.S., it's theirs to win or lose. On the other hand, Honduras beginning to pick up their confidence, beginning to pick up their play. They looked very good in the quarterfinals in, their, in that win, so I think that they have a very good chance, I think, of moving forward. Carlo Costley is the dangerous man up top. And for Honduras, uh, Roger Espinosa of Sporting Kansas yep. City back in the lineup, so MLS fans, curious to see how he's going to do on the big stage. Let's switch to some midweek MLS action. The Philadelphia Union playing host to Sporting Kansas City. 7.30 p.m. Eastern, you can catch that on Match Day Live on MLSsoccer.com. Greg, Philadelphia Union, their defense is solid, but there's some questions about up top. Yeah, and Peter Novak making some decisions about mixing it up again. He's been sort of mixing up that front line all season long, Nick. And this time, it's, he's going to do it again. Carlos Suiz is back from the Gold Cup where he was with Guatemala. Will Peter Novak insert him? Well, it wasn't really working when Ruiz was in before he left. Then they made a change and it started to work a little bit more. Of course, there's Danny Mwanga who's looking for a regular starting mm -hmm. position. And now there's the new guy, Paunovic. Will Novak insert him in a regular starting role as well? So a lot of options for Novak. He likes to mix it up. Sporting Kansas City, they come in actually feeling very good after two straight wins, uh, climbing back up in the Eastern Conference and also climbing way up high in the power rankings this week. Yeah, and for Carlos Ruiz back in camp now after that Gold Cup run with Guatemala, he said he's healthy to go mm -hmm. Wednesday night. We'll have to see how it goes. He also quashed any rumors that he was headed to Puebla. Right. The Mexican team, he was rumored to be headed there uh, in the last week, but quashing those rumors, he's going to stay in Philadelphia. Let's look at the other game on Wednesday night, the Chicago Fire playing host to Real Salt Lake. That's 8 p.m. Eastern on Match Day Live here on MLS. Soccer.com and Greg, for the Chicago Fire, not necessarily the results they've been looking for under Frank Klopas, but they're still unbeaten. They are unbeaten, and Klopas has them playing a little bit more like a team, and I think that's the key right now. They've solidified things in the back a little bit. That's been improving, and now it's just a question of can they get the attack to start moving. They've scored a couple of goals under Klopas. They want to play. Klopas wants them to play some good soccer in there and move the ball, and they, although they haven't been necessarily getting a bunch of wins, they haven't lost since Klopas took over, so I think that's huge for them. And for Real Salt Lake, keep an eye on Fabian Espindola, a goal yep. in each of his last three games. And don't forget, Real Salt Lake is a team that was upset after that draw against DC yes. United, the whole Charlie Davies incident. So Real Salt Lake looking to get back on track in this one. Yeah, and also they will be without Gene Alexander, the striker up top who's been filling in for some of the injured guys or the absent guys. Alvaro Saborio, of course, has been gone with Costa Rica for the Gold Cup. Mm -hmm. And Alexander has done a very nice job filling in. They'll be without him after he was suspended by the disciplinary committee for a reckless tackle in that game against DC United. One last uh, bit of news before we go. It's from L.A. David Beckham unlikely to play mm -hmm. in that uh, California clash up against the San Jose Earthquakes on Saturday. Will this have any effect on the Galaxy? They seem to do pretty well. <laughs> what we saw last week? Absolutely not. There's no problem for them. They don't need David Beckham to score a bunch of goals, right? The way Birchall's playing and mainly the way Juninho is playing. Every time he touches the ball, something magical happens for the Galaxy. It's unfathomable sometimes to think about what happens when Beckham and Donovan return for that team. Mm -hmm. Donovan Ricketts, of course, the goalkeeper, will be back because he has uh, once Jamaica lost he's back with the club so I think they'll be just fine without him. Well that does it for us for all the uh, coverage of the Gold Cup and all the latest headlines in MLS log on to MLSsoccer.com.